Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, this now is question number seven, part B, from the October November 2021 International GCSE IGCSE Cambridge uh, 0580, paper four, variant two. This question is part B of question seven. Question: The other parts of the question can be found on the playlist that will be at the end of this video and you can find the other parts of this question as well and all the other questions on this um, from this paper this particular paper now anyway so here we have a question about this circle where a and b are points on the circle it's on the circumference of the circle the center is o the radius is r and the area of the shaded segment is 65 centimeters squared we want to find the value of r so this is the radius and of course this is also the radius and to find the area of this um, segment, which we know the area of, we would have had to find the area of the whole sector and subtract from it the area of this triangle. That's how you find the area of a segment. So the area that we got is the result of the area of the sector, take away the area of this triangle. So if we um, use that, we can then find what R is because the radius of the segment is given by um, the angle theta over 360 that's the area of the sector times pi r squared that's the area of a, a sector the angle over 360 times pi r squared tells us the area of the whole sector and if and the area of this triangle is going to be given by a half a b sine theta or sine c so it's like the two sides that make the triangle which are both r times the sine of the angle between them with these two formulae we can work out how to find r because we know that if we subtract the area of the sector and the area of the segment, uh, the triangle, we're left with the area of the segment, and the only thing that we won't know is r. So let's apply that to this question. So I know that the area of the sector, which is 140 over 360 times pi times r squared, minus the area of this triangle, which is a half times r times r, which is r squared times the sine of the angle between them, which is 140, is equal to 65 that's equal to the area of the shaded segment so the area of the whole sector minus the area of the triangle gives us the area of the segment now the only thing we don't know here is r so if i just try to simplify this as much as i can um, if i think about this 20 goes into both of these 20 goes into 147 uh, times and 20 goes into 360 18 times so I've got 7 over 18 or 7 pi over 18 times r squared minus and I'm going to have um, a half of sine 140 which I'm not going to um, uh, write in its exact form in its rounded form because that will give me an irrational number which will just continue I'll leave things exact as possible so this is a half times sine 40 times r squared equals 65 now the only thing that I don't know is the r Okay, so if I take out r as common or r squared as common, I'm left with r squared times 7 pi over 18 minus uh, sine of 140 over 2 equals 65. So to keep things in exact form, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. So I have 65, sorry, 65. Just divide both sides by what r squared is being multiplied by. 65 over all of this, 7 pi over 18 minus sine 140 over 2. And that will give me my value of r after I take the square root of all of that. So let me just put this in my calculator. And so I'm going to have the square root of, okay, I'll have all of this 65 over, I'll have 7 pi over 18. 7 pi over 18 minus the sine of 140 over 2. So I can say 0 0.5, whoops, 0 0.5 times the sine of 140. Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm in degree mode, which I am. That's very important. So let me put times here just in case it doesn't accept that. So I got 65 over 7 pi over 18 minus a half times sine 140 and the square root of all of that because I want to find what r is, not r squared. And that will give me my answer, which is 8.4967. 8.4967 continues on. 
Now we want to give the answer. It doesn't tell us how, so we're going to round it to 3SF, which is always the default. So that's 8 point, that's going to become a 0, so 5, 0, 8 point 5, 0. We must write the 0 in the place of the third significant figure to show that it's been rounded to 3SF. So R equals 8.50, and the unit is in centimeters. 8.50 centimeters, and there's the answer. In fact, we don't have to write centimeters here because it has, it says R is in centimeters. All right, so it tells us R centimeters. So the value of R would be 8.50. That's what we have to write there. And there's the answer to this question, which is question part B from this paper, um, November 2021, um, paper four. Thank you for watching. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from um, this particular topic of um, circles and um, area of basic shapes and circles can be found in this playlist over here. And I'll have a general playlist for all of the questions to do with menstruation over here. You can click on this icon to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watch watching and see you soon.